Hey guys, this is Madhuba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create custom rail. If you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. So guys, I'm going to show you guys how to create custom rail. I have a post here I created. I have a post here I created using this is this is an object has been converted to an object I used I created this particular shape using complex profile. I'm going to show you the profile right now. That's the profile I used, as you can see. Then you use your wall, you take, you use this particular, any of this, especially this or this circle to create that shape right there. And then this is, this is fixing for the rails. This was actually created with a, a beam. This is a beam which I changed, this is a beam as you can see and I changed it to a circular beam, right? and I reduced the diameter which is 20 and gave it stainless steel material so just trying to show you how I created this particular shape so this is a complex profile and this is, this is beam all you want to do is to create a custom step and this and this right here, this right here is going to be the end post. Okay. So I created this also with a beam, right? At the same dimension with the first post. And this is also a complex profile. Another type of complex profile that is higher than the other one. And this right here is sphere from objects. When you go to objects and you type where so you see it right there so all i did was to reduce the the radius okay that was how i got this particular size so what we're going to do we're going to use this to create our stairs next thing we we'll do is let's create a railing we want first of all we check how many fixing do we have here we have about one two three four five Okay, so that will determine the amount of wire we have to put on our rail. Let's go to our railing, go to your favorite right there, and you see the type you want. This is what we want. This is that one, this one right here. So we just click, right? It takes us, just click and go to the settings. As the railing segment we want, so I'm going to draw it out this way right now. I'm going to show you what we have as a default for this wheel, and this is what we have, but this is not exactly what we want. We have to change this post. We don't want this that this particular post. So I'm going to delete this. Go to settings and delete this right here. Okay. And we are also going to change this post. But before we do, we have to save that that post we created. We have to save it inside the willing post. And before that, I'm going to go back to our plan and save this post we created select go to file library library and object then you save as railing post save it I have a railing post before so I'm going to override okay replace I'm also going to do the same thing here
save as healing post type post i've saved them before i'm still going to override or better still i give it something else post 33 three. and then we say okay so we are trying to we are going to try to impute this post in the right position let's go back to our rail we created okay i'll go to the settings Select this pose. This is what we want to change. Try to change it. Then you just click here and go to. You see the post we just created, which is post one. That's it right there. It has changed. And then we are going to also start working on these rails here. Okay, we're going to work on it. But before that, let's see what we have. The post we just changed. Uh, that's it right there that's it right there so what we're going to do we are going to try to take this wheel and shift it right in the middle here okay and also we are going to shift this particular one this handrail right on top of here go back to the settings let's change the dimension for a moment and see what we have okay have to increase it a bit okay. still have to increase it a bit let me put it to 1000 and delete this one here don't need this this top this way we don't need it so i'm going to adjust this again by going to the segment and type um 940 i think 940 will work okay 940 is actually working but let's reduce it a bit 930 and let's try to change the The diameter okay i think this works let's take it up a bit let's see if 940 works okay 940 works okay this is fine so we are also going to shift this wheels to this particular position okay so let's delete what we don't need for a start delete this click this you click this delete now let's see what we have we have to put them at the right position click and go back to the settings Click this, this right here, and then we we can increase the diameter a little bit, maybe ten. Okay. Of course, you can change the override surface to stainless steel. Then we'll go back to this part. And you say minus um, 25. Let's see if it works. Just to shift it, shifting a little bit as you can see. You say minus 35. Let's see if 35 works. 35 works. At least it's fine. I have to go to the second one. 
click this and we say uh, 290 I think minus 35 and then we go and change the diameter to 10 just like we did the other one and change the surface material okay let's see what we have before we do the rest okay so we are going to continue doing the rest go back to the settings Material stainless, and now this is fine as you can see. And then let's go to end, make it zero. All right, that's the end right here. Right here, so we're going to change this end right here for the second post we created. Click and go back to the settings. This is the post right here, and we go to the post right. Select what we have, which is post three three. Okay, that's it right there. And so okay, and that's it. So guys, we just successfully created a custom step. As you can see, this is a custom state different from what we have. This is how to create a custom stair. You can always move them like so, increase the distance like so. Okay. like so okay as you can see at each junction that creates a post you have this okay so this looks very very nice thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye bye